What's the crack streets away here? And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to develop your own color negatives at home using Kodak Flexi Color uh, Development Kit. And uh, so let's get started. Today we're gonna to be developing some Lomography 400 120 film and Kodak Color Plus 235 millimeter. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, you're going to need some kitchen roll. This is going to be just for cleaning up any messes that happen along the way. You're going to need your funnel for pouring the chemicals back into the bottles. Guys, I'm using a Patterson uh, development tank. I'm not using it with the lid. I'm going to be using it with the agitation stick. This is very important. We will not be doing inversions. We will be doing the agitation this way and you'll see a little bit later why okay guys we have our kodak flexi color chemicals we have developer bleach fixer and stabilizer this is all you need to develop your c41 uh, color negatives and um, next thing you're going to need is a tank this will be the tank that will hold the water and um, i'll be filling this with water with the bottles of chemicals standing in it and we're going to need a sous vide guys a sous vide it's used for cooking but what it does is it uh, regulates the temperature of the water. So I can set this to 38 degrees with the bottles in the water and it will keep all the chemicals at the same temperature. So that's what we need before we get started. All right guys, with the sous vide in your little basin or bucket, I'll start to put in the chemicals. Now the chemicals are room temperature at the moment because um, I haven't been using them. So even though they are room temperature, and you want to bring the temperature up to 38 degrees using the sous vide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with cold water first, guys. You might be tempted to use hot water, but if you use hot water, it will reach 38 degrees quicker than the actual chemicals inside the bottle. So I start off with colder water than the chemicals are, and then it will bring it all up to 38 degrees at the same time. Just let that fill right up. You want to get it as high as you can to the tops of the bottles. All right, that seems about good there. Okay, so with the chemicals in the cold water, I will then turn on the sous vide. Uh, it's already set to 38 degrees. So you can see it's at 13.8 and that will slowly heat up the entire um, basin to 38 degrees. When you have reached 38 degrees, I will still let it sit there for a minute. And one of the things that I will do is, I will take my development tank and I will just put it in the water too. This is just to heat up the plastic of the tank and to make sure that the temperature is, uh, it's ready to accept the chemicals in it. So I'm putting it in, it's gonna be buoyant because there's nothing in it. So I will use the stabilizer bottle to hold that down in place. And then this will just warm up the plastic of the development tank so guys while that's heating up there i'm just going to show you the app that i'll be using to set the times it's called devit and devit and what i'm going to do is, is use the timer for c41 beta so what i can do here guys is set the timing for each chemical um so this is a bleach and fixer it's not a blix so they're not mixed together and there will be no stop bath so it'll be three minutes and 15 seconds guys this applies to any iso that's why i love using uh, developing color film i can mix you know so i've got iso 400 and iso 200 in the same tank and i'm going to be developing them at the same time so three minutes 15 seconds stop bath i'll set to zero i don't need it bleach will be six minutes and 30 seconds Six minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, fix bath will be six minutes and 30 seconds. Wash will be three minutes and 15, the same as the developing. And the stabilizer will be one minute and 30 seconds. Now, there's another wash in between the bleach and the fixer, which this app doesn't allow. So what I will do is I will set a one minute 30 second timer for the wash um on my normal clock so here i can set a uh, one minute and 30 seconds this will be for the wash between the bleach and the fix don't worry about it guys i'm going to show you it all as i go along 
Okay, so first thing, let's remove the tank that's pretty warm now. Stabilizer is the last thing to use. Uh, so that's why I use the stabilizer to hold the weight down in this, but the developer will be the first one, of course, and uh, yeah, we're at 38 degrees for a while now. Okay, so once I have my app ready to go, and uh, I just hit debit and it will begin. So I'm going to put that there so you can see, guys, the time ticking away. All right. So, what I will do is, I will... I will throw in the developer first, of course. So when I put it in the developer, guys, I'm gonna fill it up a good bit before I actually hit the timer. So this is a one, uh, a one liter tank, so I can just throw it all in and hit the timer. Okay, the timer is starting. And guys, what I'll do is I'm gonna agitate for the first 30 seconds. Now, I put the tank straight back into the water so this is what keeps the temperature a constant 38 degrees. And I'll agitate for the first 30 seconds. After this agitation, it's gonna be two second agitations every 15 seconds. Okay, there's the 30 there. So, as you can see here, guys, what you do is, so the next one will be 45. So what I do is when it gets to 45, two seconds, stop. And let it continue on again. The next one will be one minute. And the great thing guys of doing it this way is that it's not messy at all, you know? There we go. And um, that's why, you know, if I'm doing black and white, I might do the rotation of the tank but you're taking it out of the 38 degrees every time you do it with color. So it's best to keep it in the water and just use the agitation stick that comes with the Patterson tanks and uh, so much less mess, you know. Many times I've uh, been agitating and it's leaking all down my arm and stuff like this. And you're like, fuck. So this is a much easier way to do it. Okay, so guys, get your phone, get ready to pour it back in. What you're gonna have to do is, guys, is to give yourself 10 seconds to pour it back in. Me too. All right, guys, I'm taking it out, and on the five, I'm gonna pour it back in. Okay, exactly up to 3.15. Perfect. All right, guys. After that, a quick rinse. You want to you want to get through the uh, get onto the next chemical as fast as possible. So just be quick on your rinsing and stuff. Okay. The next chemical after this is bleach. This will be for six and a half minutes, thirty minutes agitate or thirty seconds agitation at the beginning, and then five second agitation every thirty seconds. Again, guys, pour it in. I'll wait till I get fairly near the end, then hit the timer for the next one. Okay, you want to agitate for the first 30 seconds, same as before. Again, as you can see guys it's every 30 seconds now and it will be a five second agitation Now I do this by hand guys, if you want to do it with a 
thermometer and get it exactly 38 degrees, it's up to you. But I feel the water, I feel this, and I've been doing it so long that I kind of know the position my tap needs to be in to be at 38 degrees, which is usually around here. That's perfect. Now again, guys, you want to give yourself 10 seconds of pouring time. So instead of 6.30, I will pour at 6.20. Take 10 seconds. All right, that's the bleach done. So our next step is the wash guys. Again, I'm gonna check the temperature. That seems about right there. And because it's not in the app, I have to use my my uh, own clock on my phone. So I have that for one minute and 30 seconds. And let her go for a minute and 30 seconds. Now guys, this water is roughly around 38 degrees as well. Same as the water in this tank. Um, so I'm a bit rough with it, but it's up to you. If you want to get the exact temperature, you can, but I never have a problem. Same thing again guys, 10 seconds left, you can start to uh, pour out your water. It doesn't, it doesn't matter so much as the chemicals, the water though. Alright. So that, uh, we will move back. Our next step is going to be the fixer. Fixer is exactly the same uh, as, as the bleach will be. So it's six minutes and 30 seconds agitation for the first 30 seconds and then five seconds agitation every 30 seconds. Exact same as the bleach before. We'll get the fixer ready. And again, you're waiting when it gets to the 20 seconds, I'll start pouring. Alright guys, the next wash is going to be 3 minutes and 15 seconds. I have the temperature where I want it. And again, give yourself some time to pour out the water. You can see it's, it gets a little bit pink, the water. Okay, and well that's done guys, we're on to our final step, the stabilizer. This is a little bit different than the uh, previous ones. <clears throat> so, the stabilizer guys, same thing, pour it in. Once you get about three quarters of the way, I'll hit the timer. Now with this guys, it's an agitate, this is a one and a half minutes. It's agitation for 30 seconds and then I'm going to let it sit for the remaining minutes without any agitations. Same thing again guys, once it gets to 20 seconds I will pour back in. Full of suds guys, it's a very sooty liquid. 
Okay, and that's it. So let's check it out. Hopefully, I will be unveiling some photographs for you guys to see. And there we have it. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see there. Just get off the excess water. And you can see we have some lovely photographs here. And the 120 film, guys. Yep, beautiful. See here, guys, some lovely negatives coming out of that. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it gives you a little bit more confidence to go and try this yourself at home, too. As you can see, guys, 30 minutes and we go from taking a photograph to looking at it in front of you. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, really that simple once you, once you uh, start doing it yourself. Guys, if you want to check out these uh, photographs that I've developed here today, follow me over on my Instagram with the same name at Streets Away. And if you like this video, guys, sure, be sure to slap a like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future, whether it be film photography, developing at home, street photography, and just the different things I get up to in China. The developing times can be found in the description below and check out my previous videos where I show you how to mix up the Kodak FlexiColor chemicals and also how to load your film into the developing tanks using a dark bag.